The Mercury capsules are what took America's first astronauts into space. And I'm going to show you one that shows you really how complex they were. Hi, I'm John Williams here at the Virginia Air and Space Center in Hampton, Virginia. And you are standing next to the Mercury capsule, which was used for development of the Mercury program. The Mercury program was NASA's first ever manned program, which sent seven astronauts on um, the first seven flights of the U.S., the first seven manned flights of the U.S. to space for um, 15 minutes to one day. So what's really cool about this capsule is it's a developmental capsule. So if you come around here, you can see a little bit of the internals of the capsule. You can see a wire, you can see a pipe, and just so many other things. And even this honeycomb um, shaped thing, which would have used, which would have had people injecting this type of filler into it, which would have hardened and they would have put layers upon layers upon layers. And when they were going, the astronaut was going through reentry all of these little layers would slowly peel off, taking heat with them so the astronaut didn't um, burn up in this capsule. So this is just a bit of complex stuff, but there's so much more to it, and this gives you a good insight into it. So if you also come over here, you can see the outer shell of the capsule. It was actually coated in a black type of paint that was fire resistant in a way. And these grids right here were actually proven to be good at um, and the good in the aerodynamic test chambers, which um, for launching this reflected the um, the air molecules as the thing was going past, like Mach one and Mach two, it ref it um, reflected them good down the rest of the rocket. And up here is where the parachute would be, and the parachute would come out, and if the capsule was falling like this, like this top first into the ocean, a parachute would flip it around and land it at like 20 miles per hour. And if this capsule for some reason sank, there was an explosive charge in here that would have exploded this top off and sent up a buoy or um, some type of coloring to tell the, um, the recoverers where the capsule was so they could recover it. And Gus Grissom's Mercury capsule, which was the second manned US flight, actually sank, but this explosive charge did not go off. So it wasn't until 19, I think 80 or 70 that some researchers were able to locate the capsule and bring it up by hand and get rid of the explosive charge before it destroyed them. So this is just a really cool piece of history and the developmental process of the Mercury program. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and I'll see you later. Please subscribe, share our videos and excitement about space with everyone.